This conference will now be recorded. Hi friends, welcome back to ServiceNow Flow Designer Session 2. So last time I showed you how to trigger an email from Flow Designer. This session is about doing lookup record in Flow Designer. So first, let me show you the use case and then we'll start. Let me share my screen. And hope you can see my screen and this is the use case. Assume there is an RITM containing few tasks. Once all the tasks are closed, the RITM should be closed automatically. That is the state of the RITM should be set to close complete. So if you are given this task, what you would do? Conventional solution, use business rule, do some scripting, write a business rule on SC task table, perform glide query to find out the request item associated with the task. Going ahead, find out all other tasks that are associated with the request item. Check if the tasks are closed or not. If all of the tasks are closed, then update the RITM state to close complete. This is what we would do. We would write a script and we would achieve this. But very much easy using Flow Designer. You can use lookup record. How? Let me show you. Hope the use is clear. If all the tasks of the RITM are closed, then the RITM should also be closed automatically. Okay. So you are familiar with this now. I will create a new flow. Flow. I'll give some meaningful name to it. Okay, submit. Now you know very well, it is all about creating triggers and actions. First, create a trigger. Logic should be clear in mind. Update task record, which is SC task table. Click SC underscore task. Whenever a task is modified and its state is set to close complete, where we can specify that in the condition. Yeah. Coming up, state of the task is set to close complete. Then trigger this. This is my trigger. Done. Then what to perform? Perform a lookup. Check if other tasks associated with that RITM are closed or not. So add lookup record over here. Lookup record. This one. Obviously, the table name would be SC underscore task. Yes. And what would be the condition over here? A request item present in SC task table should be equal to get the data pill. Current tasks currently open task it's RITM so find it like this find out RITM over here do we have it we should have it EFG HIJ KLM and OPQR what does this line mean request item field of SA task table is equal to currently modified task the task in picture currently it's RITM. Okay, this is one condition. Add and state is not one of close complete 
I will press control button to make multiple selection. These three. That means if it is not one of these, that means it is open. Right now. Done. This is lookup. Get me all the tasks where request item is the currently currently open task request item and the state of the task is none of this. That is the task is open work in progress done. Now we have to add a flow logic. Okay. Like this if condition. If now data bill get the result written by this. If lookup records count is zero, that is none of the task is open, all the tasks are closed. Then, then what to perform? Then set the RITM state to close complete. So here I will see, I will select record update. So we have update record. Yes. Then update record and we okay. Let's select from the data bill. A record updated catalog task. It's request item CDEFG as a uh, request item table is selected automatically and now add field value change its state to close complete and done and that's pretty much it let's revisit first of all we created a trigger whenever a record in sc underscore task is updated and when the state is set to close complete trigger this flow flow create flow is triggered suppose then what action to perform look up open this do search in sc task table where the request item is equal to the current tasks request item okay and the state of the task is open that is not one of close complete close income with close game so this will return us the tasks that are open if it returns greater than zero that means there are tasks then it will not do anything this if condition will execute only if this lookup returns zero that is all the task are closed then and only then if this if condition will execute and if this condition executes it will that means there is no task which is open for that RITM and so set the RITM state to closed complete we are ready let's activate this coming up take few minutes few seconds let's see yes it has been activated successfully now i'll not show you how to go to the portal how to order the catalog item we all know that right that is a basic thing i'll right away go to an ritm request item I will select one sample RTM coming up. 
yesterday i did some testing with one of the ritm 0015 let us take the same 2528 36 all let us take this 0015 open because i am sure we have to task under this go to okay let me change the view so that we get to see everything default view yes so state of the ritm is work in progress now it has got two tasks let us open them work in progress save go back scroll down open the next one work in progress save assume that the ritm is in progress both of the tasks associated with this ritm are in progress the use case is as soon as these two or whatever it is if there are five tasks all of the tasks are set to close complete automatically they should be set to close complete okay now if i close both the tasks this will still be work in progress because there is no automation for this okay so now that our flow is active let us try to close one of the task and see how to first open change to close complete save it now did our flow execute let's see because i have updated one of the task and the condition is met then let's go here and we get the demo flow executions let's see yes it did execute but then what did it do did it execute completely no catalog task okay lookup completed but then if condition evaluated to false why because still we have one task open for this ritm and that's the reason it didn't set the ritm to close let's see the ritm let's go back and it is still work in progress the ritm so now let us try to close this as well and then let us try to close okay close complete and save now if i go back you will notice okay the work in progress it is still see it is close complete it took a fraction of second to update it our flow executed and set the ritm to close complete and see as both of the task associated with the ritm are closed this is set to close complete so friend that's how it is and now let again back to the flow designer to check the execution i close this execution close go to executions which one is the latest 427 this is 
to 27 this is the latest one and now if you see it would have evaluated to true see because none of the tasks were open and that's the reason this condition executed and it set the ritm to close complete that's the power of flow designer and that's about record lookup so that eliminated few lines of coding which you will write in the business rule if you don't don't go by the flow designer right so friends yeah that's pretty much it in the next session i'll show you how to send how to trigger approvals using flow designer till then take care bye bye thank you